This is a short video on the anesthesia machine, a Draeger brand model Apollo. It could be used also as a ICU ventilator. The machine has a power button and it takes uh, a few seconds to actually power up and then you could opt to run a self-check test or not. We will assist on the self-checking, but note it takes, again, a few seconds to power up completely. It has uh, the oxygen flow meter, air flow meter, nitrous oxide that you are not going to be using. They also vaporizers to deliver anesthetic agents and we will not be using these during the case but they will still be attached to the machine the dial should always be set up at zero unless it is determined that we will use them for a particular case when the machine is on it has a checklist and most of them is just to see the pressure and the line of gases of course the nitrous will be zero if you don't because we don't have nitrous lines connected and rooms outside of the operating room and then the pressure in the tanks the machine carries three tanks the full e-cylinder tank is uh 2200 pounds per square inch or so uh, these tanks are supposed are to remain closed when the machine is not uh using the tank just to prevent uh to the empty by uh, mistake now the checklist is very uh, uh, straightforward what they want to make sure is that the circuit is connected. All the anesthesia machines, the expiratory valve, when you're manually ventilating, it has a dial from zero to completely closed. So this is always the expiratory limb, whatever the APL or exhaust uh, valve. And then you have the inspiratory limb. Our machines allows us to have a manual mode of ventilation. So when the machine is set up in manual, you can make manually compress the breathing back to ventilate the patient. All of them have an auxiliary oxygen flow meter that could also be used. And when you the gases are on, this will uh, add the total liters per minute that the patient is delivering. Going back to the checklist, so I'll ask you several general questions. Is the circuit fully assembled, connected? Make sure the connections are tight, scavenger connected. Our machines will allow to be connected to suction and does no have, have no gases being uh, left inside the room. And then the CO2 absorbent. We're going to be running our machines as a regular ventilator, so this should not be a concern. So we we'll run by, you know, uh, providing a total flow of gases that will equal what the patient's uh, minute ventilation is. And then if water trap fill. Now these machines have a, a, a vapor water accumulates, has a, a, a vapor water trap that uh, needs to be empty if it fills up. But as you can see, it most of the times remains dry. So that shouldn't be a concern. Um, of course, if suction is okay, uh, they're asking you to make sure there's an ample bag in the back. Uh, these machines are not designed for long-term ventilation, but they have the sturdiness to do. So that should not be an issue, but it's always good to have an ambu bag in the room. Now there's some testing that you can do. So you close out flow controls. Okay, the Y piece. So they ask to occlude. So we can actually occlude it in this side port for the machine. And then connect the sample line which will go to our monitors and the sample line should be connected at the filter but uh, away from the patient so we don't connect it at the elbow but make sure that the sampling is done already filter uh, gas and then there is a button to uh, uh, provide uh, oxygen to fill the circuit this is a flush that will actually give a, a flush of oxygen at uh, 16 pounds per square inch as long as you're pressing it they asked to close the uh, exhaust valve and set it up at 30. This is all testing of the machine, 30. And then we press again the flush and make sure that the pressure on the circuit does not fall below 15. When we do that, the reservoir breathing back 
will be uh, fill up that pressure and that's normal and when all that's done then we actually start the self test now this is going to run and it takes up to three minutes ideally this uh, should be done every day but and a patient is being ventilated we will ventilate until uh, the machine asks to be self-test again i'm going to pause the video now uh, or we're going to check the back of the machine just to show where the connections are so the machines as i said have tanks in the back they have an oxygen tank an air tank and a nitrous oxide all the machines uh, have a key to open the tank the tanks anyway should remain closed at all times all the tanks they're closed and leave the key always on the auction should you need it we always carry an uh, ambu back in the back the connections are standard gas connections as you can see so the same connections uh, standard and then we have this is the uh, vacuum or evacuation of uh, the exhaust gases and then nitrous that you will not have uh, connect them to your system okay perfect so we're going to come to the front the machine is continuing to do the test uh 72 percent i'm going to pause the video here once the machine runs the test and it passes uh the test it will tell you self-test results and then the machine is ready to work they do recommend at least every 24 hours um, but uh, these are extraordinary times uh, i made a little miss uh, take before when i mentioned in this particular machine there's actually the scavenger system for the excess gases that actually go to the purple tube and actually get suction to the waste anesthetic gas line which is the purple line the, wh the white is just regular suction now that we're ready the patient can actually uh, be ventilated so we could connect the circuit in this case to a test lung so we can connect our patient to the ventilator and then there is very basic modes you have manual ventilation volume mode uh, volume uh, uh this is uh, auto flow mode and then pressure mode and pressure support but what we'll be using is usually volume mode you have all these commands you can set up whatever commands and you can con confirm that this not as soon as you do you're ready to uh, ventilate in this case you know set up at, at this uh tidal volume of 600 you know this is an airway limit pressure and then the breathing now this machine uses this reservoir bag as a reservoir lung so initially i'm going to actually fill the system by pressing the flush and filling up the bag and once that is done we now uh, can ventilate it's important though that we have to turn flows of gases so if we're ventilating a patient that will need you know 600 times 10 will be six liters so again you know, the initial is put you know three liters of oxygen and, and uh, three liters of uh of air or, or so if you set up an excess it doesn't really matter the machine will just deliver what is uh, pre-programmed and if you set less our machines uh, can recirculate the anesthetic gases through a carbon dioxide absorber uh, we're not planning to use this uh, but it's you know if this the flow of fresh gases is set up less than the minute ventilation for the patient there'll be some re-inhalation of gases and this will start to turn purple as CO2 gets uh, neutralized uh, on this uh, CO2 absorber or CO2 neutralizer. Let's call it either way. So here we're ready now ventilating. And we can adjust the parameters. Every time we adjust the parameter, if you're going to have inspiratory time or, you know, if you're going to do some uh, pressure support um, or, or peak, you have to press adjust confirm. We have uh, some, of course, uh, airway pressure parameters. Uh, we have some, uh, you know, uh, flow parameters. Uh, um, the uh, entitled CO2 is not seen. Uh, that's seen in this monitor with this patient, of course, uh, is not producing any CO2. Okay. 
Okay, so that's the machine and full functionality. I'm gonna change your mode to a pressure control mode, and same thing. Set up your pressure, confirm. Set up your pressure to whatever it is that you want. And then you rate your peak. Uh, these patients can actually, you can actually also add some uh, pressure support if you desire. Uh, um, so that, again, these are the basic modes of ventilation that you have. I hope this helps.